Good morning students today we are going to learn about formulas in excel formulas in microsoft excel as we all know that in microsoft excel we have columns and rows right and every cell which is the intersection of row and column has some cell address suppose if i click here i can see in the name box C5, which is the address of this particular cell, Cth column and fifth row. So this is C5. In the same manner, if I click here, now the address is I10. Fine. And in every cell, if I enter some value, or in particular cells, if I enter some value, I can establish a relationship with the help of some values and using formulas we can do calculations for example i have a column say length and another column say breadth and another one area and another one perimeter right now for length suppose value is 8 for breadth it's 5 and area and parameter we will calculate using the formulas but before that let's go through with the uh, definition once again formulas are used to perform calculations involving addition subtraction division and multiplication etc there could be many more operations as well which we can use during the calculation and it establishes the relationship between two or more cells there could be two cells there could be more than that Fine. And not only the cell addresses, but arithmetic operators, there could be parentheses, there could be a function, there can be range. There are so many things which can be there in the formula. Functions, if we talk about, there are many functions. For range, the range could be of your choice, your limit, what you want to take. And every formula we need to begin with equal to sign. This is the rule of formulas. And the formulas can contain constant as well. Let's understand with the help of example. Uh, like I entered here length and breadth 8 and 5. So formula is equal to length value. That is the cell address C4. Multiply breadth. The address is D4. And the area is calculated and another formula is equal to which is a constant multiplication symbol bracket begin length plus breadth and the bracket is close and if we enter we will get the perimeter so this way we have calculated a formula in excel we have so many options which we can use to border we can double click to accommodate the cell spacing we can uh, select the cells and we can drag them left, right, up and down to give them proper spacing, right? And we are also capable to set their alignments. We can give the background color. There are so many things which we can do. Changing the uh, name of sheet, changing the color. Suppose if I want to write first here, it can be done this way. I can change the color also tab color and formulas in other videos you would be observing about the formulas particularly basic formula compound formula formulas in range but here I would show you one more example uh, say it's AP and I want to further add the area and parameter so it can be done this way and you know what when this formula is being used here and the values are calculated let me tell you that if some value is being changed suppose if I enter 6 here rather than 5 the values will be reflected accordingly the same is with this case if I enter 10 here rather than 8 so area parameter and this AP would be affected fine so in while working in formulas we need to be careful while using references while using operators constants and functions if any of them would be wrong or misspelled or uh, there would be some wrong entries then definitely errors will come so this is all about formulas in excel thank you so much enjoy learning